Welcome back to a new video. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for the incredible support on the last video. It's almost at 1k, I believe, which is amazing. So I want to show my appreciation for you guys. All right, so real quick, I want to talk about our new unlimited access pack on gfxcomment.com. So if you go over here, you just want to click this button, unlimited access right here. And as you can see, this is a one-time payment that will allow you to access every single item on the store, every single new product that we add in the future completely for free. At some point, we're gonna have hundreds of templates available and you will have access to every single one. So yeah, enough talking, let's get back into the video. Today's video, I will be showing you how to design and import a tooltip UI. So what is a tooltip exactly? If you take a look at this frame right here, a tooltip is basically a frame that appears when you hover and it displays the information. So in this case, in inventory, this tooltip will display the item name, rarity, description, and maybe a call to action like this right here, tap to equip. It is a rectangle with rounded corners. It has a name, rarity, description, a dividing line and uh, a gradient text down here. All right, so we're gonna start off with a new layer. I'm just gonna hit this uh, new layer button and I'm gonna go to my rectangle tool. It is right over here. It should be. If you don't see it, go to window and open up your tools. So for the corner radius, this is going to depend on your canvas. I'm using a 1080p canvas right here. 1920 by 1080 let's go ahead and where we're just gonna create this right here now it's actually a bit more round i suppose we could take this down to like 20 if you want to this is a bit more accurate and now i'm just gonna right click and hit blending options i'm gonna go to gradient overlay and right here, I'm going to turn reverse off for the first color. I'm going to use 151515. And for the second color, we're just going to go just a tad bit lighter. So 1A, 1A, 1A right here. Let's go for inner shadow. I'm going to use a size of 2 choke 100 opacity 5 and distance 0 the angle is not gonna matter because your distance is a 0 if you move this then the angle will start to uh, have effects anyways let's hit ok and this is our basic shape right here okay for opacity we're gonna turn this down to either 90 or 95 it's up to you now we're gonna go ahead and add our text so text tool so i'm gonna go ahead and use the font for doka one right here let's actually do uh fire sword so basically when it comes to ui like this you never really want to have your text be a pure white or pure black so in this case, I'm going to go and opt for a slightly darker shade, just like that. That should be fine. And we just hit OK. We want to make sure the spacing all the way over here is proportional. So what I mean is from the top, from the corner, as well as the side right here. So once that is good, we're going to add the uh, rarity so we're just gonna copy this over and uh, for this one I'm just gonna do epic instead let's just resize so for epic let's go into blending options and a gradient let's go for this change it to orange all right this looks pretty good and now for the description right here it's quite simple we would make the color darker so it takes less attention from the 
main uh, name. Make sure it is aligned by the sides as well. And now for the dividing line, let's go for our line tool. Fill is going to be white, weight, one pixel works. We're just going to click and hold, hold shift and drag out this line. Just like so. Make sure it is aligned and let's make the opacity like, I don't know, like a 10. And obviously for the call to action text, I'm going to reuse the rarity text. And this will be, let's just do a tap save clip. Now as for this gradient, this has three colors. So, so let's go for the first color right here. Second, right in the middle and the third color. Right there, and we're going to change the angle like so. Um, this needs to be fixed. There we go. So now as you can see here, we have a very nice tooltip. This is ours, tooltip two. And if I bring this back, you can see it looks pretty good, right? Now we're gonna take this and I'm gonna show you guys how to import and how to scale this tooltip right here. So first things first, we're gonna take this entire group. We're gonna right click and hit quick export. And we're going to name this tooltip underscore container. Okay. All right. So here we are inside studio on an empty base plate. And the first thing we're going to do is go to starter GUI. We're going to hit the add button. We're going to go for a screen GUI. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and name this tooltip. We're going to add a frame. We're going to call this canvas. There we go. I'm using UI tools version 1.4. I'm gonna hit center, fit parent, remove borders, transparent, and uh, that's fine. Let's add a new frame inside. We're gonna call this container. This will basically contain our tooltip. Let's go center. And now we need the sizing. Um, so right here, what we just exported, as you can see, as you can see, the size is 384 by 179. I'm just gonna go ahead and let's go for size X384. You wanna use the offset and for the Y offset 179, as you can see. And inside this container, we're gonna add a new frame. This will be our main. We're gonna go for center. And for this, we just hit fit parent. And inside main, we're gonna add a UI corner. This we're going to use scale, so I'm going to go for, I think, 0.2. You can't see it uh, until we add it, until we add a UI gradient. And uh, right here, we're going to use the same colors. And we just paste the same color and make this a bit lighter. Let's change the rotation to negative 90. And for the container, let's go for transparent and remove borders and here we have our mainframe uh, I think let's take the offset off on the corner all right so for the background transparency let's go for 0 0.05 I'm gonna go into actual resolution so I can actually see a bit clearer let's add a text label center let's go for X alignment left text scale, text color, this off white color, hit OK. Let's go for font for Delta 1, transparent background, let's call this fire sword right here. Oh, also, let's add a UI stroke. This will be thickness of 2 with the color white and a transparency of 0.95 or 0.9 could work too. Like this. Looks pretty good. Control D to copy and this will be the rarity. So epic. Change the alignment to the right side. We're gonna add we we'll change the color to a full white first of all. And we're gonna add a gradient angle rotation negative 90. 
Let me go ahead and change the color. Top color, I have it just like that. Okay. And the description. Okay, we're gonna add a frame center. We use this for the dividing line. Let's make it go across. Um, let's use this right here, 400. That's way too much. <laughs> 300, that should work. And position, 0.65, just a bit more, 0.7. Okay, this looks pretty good. But let's make sure this is scale. So let's go for frame, rename, rename this to divider. And if you can see the size is all offset. Right here, I'm gonna hit scale size and scale position as well as all these boom it's right here in the main frame as well as the container so now if we take a look it should scale properly like so all right uh, thank you guys for watching this video um once again I really appreciate the support on today's video. If you guys like content like this, and you guys, if you guys like content like this, make sure to leave a like and also comment. Check our store, and with that being said, I will see you guys.